hey everybody good morning and welcome back to root and honey i just woke up chelsea's up um she's getting ready to get going it is may 2nd sunday uh we decided to get a little bit of a jump start on the day because we have some things we need to do later on and the plan is to do some inside cleaning then have some breakfast and then get out in the garden and maybe get some peppers and tomatoes out or at least get some up potting done and just kind of revamp our plan a little bit i don't know if i mentioned this but we kind of switched from um uh, wanting to well i still we want to build new raised garden beds but the price of lumber has just skyrocketed so what we're looking to do is do some in-ground beds which that's what we grew up on that's kind of like what we started gardening on with our dad and our mom so um, we'll probably do some tilling on that side plot just extending the garden and that's the plan but that's kind of like the gist just want to like get let you guys know that a lot of things might change with our original plan because of the price of lumber we're trying to be smart um not go broke okay so that's the idea um but this morning um, I don't know if we told you guys we have like every quarter we switch rooms as far as like general chores in the house So Chelsea right now has the kitchen and dining room This train won't let me be great. I don't know why Chelsea right now has the kitchen and the dining room and I have the living room and the bathroom So I'm actually gonna get those rooms cleaned. Uh, we want to get these common rooms cleaned before we eat breakfast um so trying to like really get some things done but i think i'll probably be done before chelsea's done because the kitchen always takes a little bit longer so i'll likely come down and help her a little bit in the kitchen and um then kind of start breakfast so then we'll eat a little bit and we shall see i'm usually not hungry that early but this is one of those days that i might just have to eat earlier because of the way that why train because of the way that our day is laid out um she's actually getting her hair done later by my mom mm, she's amazing hairstylist uh and then i am going to a house warming um so that's gonna be at two o'clock so we have a very tight schedule today it is now what 7 30 a.m so i'm gonna get going on the living room and I'll probably pop back in a little bit, show you that I did it. We can have accountability, okay? And then, we're gonna go outside and do some yard work. That's the plan. Okay, bye. okay so the housework is done for now um i still need to clean my room but <laughs> we know how that goes so i was able to get through the my rooms and then started um helping chelsea in the dining room at least getting like some random junk out and she can kind of do the rest of the cleaning whenever she gets to it but i have to take a quick break before we get into the garden because i need to go pick up something for the housewarming that's later on today hopefully i can do that within a halfish hour and then get back to maybe doing one more hour of like getting some plants in the beds with chelsea and then take a shower and go we are very crunched for time um this is very on brand for me 
constantly planning too many things in the amount of time that I actually have available but it's called productivity okay so we're gonna get it all done and I don't know if Chelsea's already started it looks like she's maybe weeding the strawberry bed you guys want to see her Chelsea on my shoulder makes me happy <laughs> anyway so she looks like she's weeding that bed so I'm gonna throw on uh, some clothes that will be appropriate for the store and we gonna get into it all right, I was able to grab that gift for the housewarming I mentioned, and now me and Chelsea are going to do our best to get some of these peppers uh, seedlings out. We've got some hot peppers here, Bangkok peppers, sweet lunchbox peppers, couple varieties there, and then these are uh, slicing cucumbers here. Uh, let's see, lunchbox peppers there. We have some Mexican sour cucumbers. These we may have to try again. They definitely dried out, but the fennel is there. Uh, jalapenos. These are the watermelon seeds here. Um, these might be a couple of tomatoes. I'm not actually sure what this one is. Um, so we'll figure that out, but you can see some of these did yellow. They're struggling a little bit, but like the cucumber is still doing well. Several of these peppers. So we're gonna go ahead and get these out and just see how they do. Um, and go from there, but see you outside. Okay, so Chelsea did do some weeding out here. These are all of our strawberry plants. Um, They're vining and looking really cute. We're really excited to see how many strawberries you actually are able to harvest this year, um, and maybe even get a couple more to kind of fill in these gaps here. We'll see how they do, they might continue to vine down. We have these collard greens here, and this looks like a rogue kale that's grown back in. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. Um, we do have some growing downstairs, so we'll likely use those when we need them. We'll continue up potting them and try and take care of them down there so that when it's time, we can throw them out here. Um, and they are growing a little bit early, if I'm not mistaken, so we may end up just getting some more seeds and starting over, but we're gonna pull these out right now. And over here, we're gonna throw in some tomatoes We'll just put the plants in for now and then tomorrow or later this week or tomorrow we'll work on trellising or getting the trellis in here properly we have to order more fencing anyway so that's what we'll do the second bed here is the one that's completely empty um, down here is where we believe we will have some hush cherries grown back in up here is where we're going to put all of our pepper plants because uh, we think we'll just have tons more room to get uh, really creative with some different varieties of pepper plants and then over here where we have those mustard greens growing we'll go ahead and grab those too um, because all of our leafy greens are actually going to be in a different bed anyway and we can put a few cucumber plants there that's the idea for now um, but we'll just start and uh, get going with as much as we can We actually got a lot more done than I thought we would get done and meaning like the cucumbers I didn't think we would actually get to the cucumbers today and those were starting to flower so I really wanted to get those either up potted or into the garden beds we're gonna see how those do they're just gonna really want a ton of water so I'm actually gonna turn some water on now and get those watered we have the peppers in the bed here and then tomatoes you saw in the far, far bed over there um, the tomatoes I think are gonna be the biggest issue maybe they're the most spindly they're not great but um, in our defense we noticed that either we would have to up pot them or um, 
just risk seeing if they'll survive out here we decided to test risking it mostly because we have more tomatoes seeds that we can grow if we want to do that um, and then also we have the option to hit up a greenhouse which we usually get our tomato plants from anyway um, so these are seeds that we actually had from last year that we uh, harvested from plants that we grew or plants that our parents grew um, and then some seeds that we ended up ordering you know from like Baker's Creek and things like that so that's that we'll see how those tomatoes do everything is kind of in we'll see mode um, but that's planting in general I feel like so but I'm really excited to see what happens with those cucumbers we have way more than we had last year and we're really giving them a nice space to grow so we have those cucumbers right here um, we have those cucumbers right here for you I need to get in there and grab those uh, mustard greens we harvested those are good to go we're gonna eat those in a little salad later on but um, you can see the small pepper plants that we just went ahead and put in the ground and then we have some tomato plants over there So we'll keep you guys posted We'll try and do this more in real time so you can see maybe week to week how they're all doing um, That's what I'm excited about and we just up potted the tomatoes So I'll swing downstairs so you guys can just see uh, what they're looking like on the tray for the sake of mentioning uh, mentioning them, those are the uh, garlic. I don't remember if I went over that, but they're growing really nice and tall. The garlic scapes are looking really nice. And then uh, we have our onion over here. <sighs> Spanning across this bed, looking really strong. So I'm really excited to see how those do as well. I'm gonna cut on this uh, sprinkler for a little bit while I get ready for the, uh, the housewarming later today. Okay, I popped in for a quick second to uh, plug some holes or put some holes in these cups. I'm going to use these to up pot our watermelon. We do think our seedlings are a bit small. We're honest with ourselves. We're still trying to give them a chance. We don't think we up potted them really in time. And we probably could still do them, but they're all very leggy and a little bit spindly. And we just kind of thought... We just give it a best shot because we will likely go to a greenhouse anyway. Um, and there were some things out there that were actually pretty strong. I guess I'm going to use these cups. I'm going to get the watermelons in these cups that I just put holes in. I'm going to take them right back downstairs, put them on our uh, shelves so that they can be right under the grow light still. Still got quite a few things down here that we'll have to tackle but for us it definitely is easier to tackle little bit by little bit um this weekend i'm glad we were able to take care of the tomato peppers and cucumber that we had growing down here and the watermelon here they are i think they're gonna be nice and happy i'm gonna get some water in this tray um before i head out and then we still have our leafy greens that will go in the ground when we have everything tilled up and uh, these are flowers down here. We actually have some baby's breath growing. They look pretty. So we're going to decide what we're going to do if these are going to be an in-ground bed or if we're going to throw those in um, an actual or we're going to throw those in the front yard. Then I have my dad's stuff. So we'll take care of all this. All this likely needs to be watered. Yeah, some of these things have water in them, but some of them do not. But they're looking pretty good. So I'm going to leave the light on for now. And like I said, I'm going to get some water in here and then that's about it. So I feel like the biggest fail so far are the Mexican sour gherkin cucumber. They are just way too spindly and dry um, and they did not make it outside basically. So I may throw some more seeds out there. We ha we'll have a ton of cucumbers so 
maybe if I decide I want to still try those out I'll do them on the top deck and they're so pretty they look like a little ornament anyway so might not be a bad idea thank you all so much for jumping back into root and honey we are doing our best to bring you all things urban farming small scale gardening and sustainability so i really appreciate you supporting me and my sister here in our little journey discovering what we really enjoy doing and doing our best to learn as quickly as possible we love all the comments that we get down below if you have any suggestions or questions on what we've been up to please comment down below and chat with us i try to make an effort to be online at least an hour after every video goes up so we can chat with you all alive so with that said, I'm gonna get going. I need to shower, I'm very sweaty, and my friend will not want me on at her house if I am sweaty. But we got so much done today that now I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy this relaxation and hang with some friends. With that said, I hope you all enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you next Saturday.